Bob! Howdy hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with uh, Omega Wolf. Hi. So we're going to do this guy again here. Um, Sparkle's Nightmare attacked. Uh, are, do you think we're going to win this time? Uh... That was not yes. that, that was not a reassuring <laughs> oh. pause. Uh oh. Oh, only seventy seven damage. We're fine. So what happens after we win this fight, do you know? Uh Ness becomes or Cloud Sparkle becomes true Alicorn. If you if you strike me down, I should become more powerful than you can even imagine. So you know Um you're gonna die. Uh keep Keep destroying him. Keep on it. Uh, oh god. Uh, I my muscles are tired already. Like is I'm this like bashing the buttons, buttons so many times. Is this how you're supposed to defeat him? I don't know. Is this what they intended? I don't know. Did <laughs> you to just like keep Oh. Oof. Oh, the shield's already gone. The shield's yeah. gone. Destroy him. Use friendship. Come on. Oh man, it is just like Oh, come man. on, come on, come on. Do it. Die. Do it. You only got a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Sparkle, looks like your head got handed to you. Do you want to, like, restart? <laughs> we could probably work Well, I mean, I mean like, re restart the game, not, no, not the recording. Just, each time we get there, we're going to be stronger. Oh, really? Yeah, because we're we're going through so many tough battles. Get out of my way. <laughs> okay, uh, we're I just going to level up on our way there. So is this what they kind of intended? They they want you to die a lot here? Well, you're facing yourself. Yeah. Oh, so it's like just as strong as you? Thereabouts. So even if you level up, is it just as, still as strong as you? Well, you're you're fu you're facing the evil side of you, and so you have to defeat what is essentially you but evil. Oh. It does have a set level though. That kind of reminds me, whoa, that guy just did like a moonwalk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that kind of reminds me of, um, oh shoot, what was what was I thinking of? Uh, Mass Effect 3. So spoilers for Mass Effect 3. Oof. Oof. This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave press, him the ghost. Uh, press F to pay respects. Another one of Sparkle's courage is resting here. Another one? He damaged evil terribly and finally died. Oh. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna get another one? Yep. I'm Flying Man 3. Your courage hasn't died yet. Let's go. What happens if all of them die? <laughs> I don't know. We should let all of them die and see what happens. <laughs> or maybe I could just look it up. I mean, we have the technology. Uh, just <laughs> ask Google, I guess. What happens if all your courage dies, Earthbound? Uh, Flying Man. Okay. The wikibound.info. How wonderful. Okay, let's see here. They're mythical species of birds with distinct human qualities. Blah, 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 blah. Status in Earthbound. Super Smash Bros. It does not say. Okay. Too bad. I don't know. I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll never know unless we give it a try. <laughs> we could make that the point of the episode is to get them killed. But that would be evil. Maybe. Speaking of evil, today was my uh, last day at work. Oh really? And uh, in the break room before work, my my supervisor and some of the like the lead and whatnot, they're all in the break room waiting for the day to start and. I walk in with uh, the final countdown playing on my phone. <laughs> oh, oh dear! I... And, and my supervisor put it the the most blatantly that just basically was like putting the middle finger up to the company. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, get out of here, little children. Yeah. Oh, 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 we forgot to do that. Yeah. So if you're 13 years or younger, uh, you're not allowed to be here. Um, don't ask your parents. Just leave. <laughs> like actually ask ask your parents to help you leave. Yes. Yes. But I just <laughs> uh COPPA this is a COPPA compliant zone, uh which means it's only for the not cool kids. Um Which means we if you are cool, we'll come through the screen and burn down your house. Yes, we will. Yes. That is <laughs> that is what COPPA requires us to do. 
Um, it's it's in the agreement. You know, I've read it cover to cover, <laughs> and it says that literally, if there's any children that are 13 years or under, that we have to jump through the computer screen and um, murdelate uh, you and your parents and your dog and yes um, and your goldfish yes <laughs> and like probably you, your can you a, too. can you imagine if there actually was like a 13 year old like just running away from the compu- like, computer crying like, no! <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we have no regrets saying all this no i mean after kappa like 13 year olds can can f off like that's my opinion um you probably wouldn't use even that s- strong of language i guess but... no but just like I would say screw the FTC. Yeah, I think it's is it the FTC or the FCC? I think it's I think it's the FTC. Uh, Cause I know actually interesting thing. So the FCC, uh, it was just announced, just announced that uh, for the suicide hotline, uh, they are shortening it to like three numbers. Wow, which is amazing. Um, so that you basically you know because like with nine one one you can just dial nine one one right? Everybody knows nine one one. If yeah. you need the suicide hotline, I don't even know what the suicide hotline is. <laughs> like, I, I have, I would have to go look it up, right? I think but, our, uh, our aunt has the number posted on her. Fridge. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I think she. Well, she. I mean, she works with. Um, uh, oh, what does she do? Um, doesn't she work with like foster kids and stuff? Uh, she did. Yeah. So I mean, it would make sense for her to have that, but. It's one of those things where in the podcast... <laughs> those two were way too eager. Wait for us. Oh, they're just going around you. Um, so, what? Oh, so in the podcast we do, um, we always make sure to do a, a suicide awareness plug. Because, uh, you know, we never know who's going through things. Uh, um, flying man died. Speaking of... Um, <laughs> that was terrible, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but we have a suicide awareness plug in the... Uh, uh, podcast and we've been actually talking about the uh potential ruling on bringing it down to being three numbers for the suicide hotline and that's wonderful uh because that means that more people are more likely to actually call because they don't have to be like you know if you're in a crisis you You know you can only really remember so many numbers yeah so you know and if you're gonna look up what what the suicide hotline is because let's say that you you know because still people aren't gonna know what the three numbers are right yeah offense 229 Oh, uh, you're not going to know what it is, but you're more likely to dial a number if it's only three numbers. Yeah. Because you can literally just remember three numbers and then just type it in. Whereas you have to remember, like, well, I think, like, an acronym. or You have to remember, like, the words and then also, like, 1-800-something-something get help or something, I think yeah, it the, is. The entire translation of letters to numbers. And then you have to, yeah, and then you have to sit there. I know that I have to sit there looking at a phone. I'm just like, hold on, like, uh, G... Um, e like it takes me a while to do that because I know that um at work all the time. Oh my gosh, how are you gonna keep throwing bombs? How are you gonna get healed? I have tools. Oh, um, because I I know that uh, when I'm at work, I have to tell people to call Apple all the time, and their phone number is just one eight hundred my Apple. <laughs> it's actually really easy. So one eight hundred my Apple, super easy to remember. The problem is, when you want to call Apple, you have to sit there and be like, uh, 1-800-M- <laughs> Y- A- oh, Wait, what part of it was I on again? Like, <laughs> it's, like, that's literally what it takes, because people are, people are like, okay, well, I, I get that that's, like, a nifty, you know, thing and a way to call them, but, like, what are the actual numbers? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of old people need to call Apple, and I guess maybe- Old people don't understand the <laughs> concept of well, using the letters as numbers. Okay, well, like the thing it was that was more useful when we had the T nine typing. Yeah, pred- predictive text. Yeah, and but just like it also, the letters were right there on the numbers. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes they are. Most most of the time they are. You know, um, still on there. Um. Oh, so if you break the... Oh, does that heal you? No, but if you break through the barriers, that grass, quote-unquote, it's not really grass, it's, like, green water. Yeah. It has a unique sound effect. Does it? Yeah. What is it like? Is it just... Is it another, like, walking sound, or...? Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. 
Is it like unholy? No, it, it's it's like think crunchy moss. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Maybe. So, it's, is there is there like a point in the game in which you like go in? Nope. Weird. Okay, that's very strange. Avoiding that noise. Are there butterflies here? Uh, I don't think so. Because that would be really helpful if there was. You want to like save? Oh no, you can't save, can you? No. Okay. I guess Dad's we'll just. Here. I guess we'll just. Dad's <laughs> not here. Just like a telephone right next to the guy. <laughs> uh. I'm the part of your evil brain. You can't be me because you are the one who forced me into being. Okay, so what's the plan? Uh, hopefully he doesn't have his shield up. Is there like a hmm friend whatever letter that is? Oh come on! Oh, it disappeared. Okay. So does it go away after it takes a certain amount of damage, or is it more? Uh. Are you a if we had the if we had Comrade Fluta, <laughs> this would be a cakewalk. It would, yes. Oof, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I don't, I don't think we're gonna get him, are we? Are we gonna heal? Yes. He yeah. Perfect. I guess that's what they planned. It's just you. Just. Wow, this is a really tough fight. Yeah. They literally put you at a disadvantage. They did. Especially um, since that thing can do mortal damage immediately! Oof. Okay, uh, are we able to... Why don't we wait on healing ourselves Until yeah. we're, like, in the hundreds? I have a feeling that's exactly what Shigesato Itoi intended. Was, um... I mean, because this is kind of a nightmare, so it's supposed yeah. to be, you know, hard. Oh, did it hurt? Did you get the... Story? I... De dealt more damage. Okay. Okay, I'm healing. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we could definitely. Life. Ooh, okay. Wait. It healed as well. Oh, did it? Okay. Yep. Is our is our health going? Oh, it's going back up. Okay, yep. perfect. Is it gonna go For back now. up? Oh, it didn't work. Yes. Die, you critter. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness. And, wait. And back to full health. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Is that, um... Just flexing my muscles and victory! <laughs> your, mind, your mind muscles in your mind. <laughs> Sparkle Just... heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Giggles' goal is to destroy you. Darn that, Giggles. Listen carefully. Everything in, in the Unverse could be destroyed. <laughs> it, it, wait, what? Everything <gasps> in the Unverse... Is that a... Is there a typo? <laughs> there is a typo. Everything in the Unverse. Could be destroyed at the hands of Giggles. Darn that Giggles. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Giggles' attempt will fail. It is because of the existence of a boy named Sparkle. That's me! Listen. Free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know, deep within the reaches of your mind. S Saturn. Saturn Valley, <laughs> yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon, Magicant will be no more. We must be quick. So we're almost to the end of the game. Yes. We're like, are we going to finish it today? Uh, with difficulty, maybe. Hmm... <gasps> was filled with the power of the gi of giant step. Oh my god, what's happening? Speed increased. You're dying. Power increased. Your, your, your health. Uh, oh my gosh, it's it's cycling? It's going all over the place. What is happening to your power points? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have this many power points. Uh, filled with power of Magma Hill. Vitality increased by five. <laughs> Luck increased by five. Power filled with the power of the Rainy Circle. Guts increased by five. IQ increased by five. Fill the power of pink cloud. Speed increased by five. Guts increased by five. Fill the power of luminai hole. Luck increased by five. IQ increased by five. Fill the power of the fire spring. Speed increased by five. Luck increased by five. Isn't like instantly Sparkle's mind cleared, and he realized that he had possessed great power. At that moment, Sparkle's magic powers radically expanded. Oh boy! Gained two hundred thousand experience. Oh. His. What? What? Whoa! Uh, 
A uh, hundred and... <laughs> what? He is the Super Saiyan. You realize that he had the power to teleport? B! Wow, we didn't even have to, like... We didn't even have to have Krillin die. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sparkle made all of the hidden powers his own. Sparkle made the power of the land into his heart, and Magicant was no more. So he absorbed Magicant into his being. Yes. And that's how he did it. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It is time to get up. So, whoa. This is not normal. This is, in fact, abnormal. It's the last of the, of the earth acid leaving his body. Whoa. Seizure warning. Are those like static images or did they Those are the images of the different power spots. Well yeah, but how do they cycle through? I'm just wondering how they <laughs> that entire time he's there having a seizure. The soundstone <laughs> that Sparkle used to have is now gone. <laughs> just instant stand up. What happened, Sparkle? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Sutton Valley. What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. We are near a volcano. I'm not in control. Oh, it's doing it for you? Oh, there we go. Whip! <laughs> Just <laughs> zip through the volcano. Ooh. Okay, so, uh... Dr. Andonuts. Comrade General Andonuts. <laughs> Yaha, me, the Mr. Statherton's are incredible folk. And the Apple Kid, he is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kid. Well, anyway, the prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig <laughs> wearing clothes <laughs> took Mr. Statham captive and stole the device. Okay. Okay. Uh, good to know. Are we going to have to fight him? Ex oh, I don't know what his voice is. Uh... Dr. Andalus, <laughs> Mr. Sutton and I worked together, finally completed the faceless order. Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Adrian! <laughs> Adrian! <laughs> if only I could do, like, a Rocky Balboa, like, Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone uh, voice, I'd be doing it for, like, everything. So what are we doing here? Uh, clearly that didn't work. Oh. And it doesn't work. One, mm, thing. one thing is missing, but that one material cannot normally found be found on the Earth. That material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite. Oh wait, so we have to go back to the where Buzz Buzz died. Yes. Okay. Or was sent to Earth or whatever. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? Eureka! That's it. With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize material zexonite. <laughs> okay. I doubt that your mortal enemy giggles, or whatever, will allow you to go to Anet, on the Onet, and get piece of meteorite. By now, Onet is in evil hands. You must go, though. Take every possible precaution. Mr. Saturns, introduce some of their new developments at shop. Please check in with them before you leave. I wonder what Onet is like at this point in time. There was a moment of potatoes. Yes. Uh, so are we going to talk to all the Mr. Saturns? Where no, are you, where we just you... need to go to the shop. Oh, okay. Is this the shop? Yes. How? Okay, the Okay. Gear. so how do the Mr. Saturns get up here? Ladders, ladders are designed for bipedal creatures. <laughs> These are not... Well, they're for bipedal creatures that have arms. How do you use a ladder... If you're just a little fleshy sack with two small nubby legs, do you want to zoom? Shh. <laughs> like, literally, they shouldn't have ladders. Like, ladders are for humanoid creatures. Well. Uh, that actually reminds me, I was uh, reading a Halo book one time, and apparently uh, elites have a really hard time with ladders. Really? Yeah. 
It might be the fact that their legs go backwards at one oh, point. Oh, that could be, yeah. Uh, you'd think they'd be at least able to... I mean, they can climb ladders, it's just difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Does, um... Does Master Chief ever climb a ladder in the games? Uh... In the first Halo game, there's a, uh... Like, in, in Wizard, there's a ladder. Okay. In the multiplayer game. Do... so... Or multiplayer. So that, that, that brings into question, like, elites, right? Yeah. Do they rock climb? Uh... Can they climb their rocks? Their planet was mostly ocean. Oh, okay, so they can't, like... So, like, there's not, like, rock climbers the way that we have rock climbers. Like, nobody does that for fun. Not, not that they really have fun. Like, if they if they could. I guess they have, like, hooves, so... Uh, they're more of two toes. Oh, are they? Yeah. They're not, like, hooves. They're apparently not. Huh. Like, that was changed after, like, the first Halo. Or the... Or Halo 2, I don't know. Uh, you have to imagine, like, what kind of extreme sports do, like, the the alien races of, of Halo have? Because, <laughs> I mean, like, even, like, you would imagine they probably have some sort of sporting events, right? Uh... I'm... Oops. It's it's okay. I only spilled, like, a tiny, tiny bit. I almost spilled my coffee. Or my uh, tea, or whatever. But, yeah, like, even... So, like, a lot of militaristic societies, you tend to find... Uh, sports are also a very important part of their society um, because it's, you know, testing strength and it's a machismo sort of thing. Um, so, like, the ancient Greeks used to have, you know, the Olympics. That was yeah. their whole thing. But, like, cultures throughout the ages have always had, you know, shows of strength. You uh, know. I was recently reading the Halo novella uh, Shadow of Intense. You just, you, sorry, sorry to interrupt, you just reminded me of something. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing to have, like, a Halo-based Spanish telenovela? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> like, imagine Sergeant Johnson, like, <laughs> like, I know what the lady's like. <laughs> like oh my. Like, 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 how would that be in Spanish? Like, uh, yo sé. I, I don't even know. I could probably do it if I had more time, but I don't want to, like, sit down and think about... Here, I gotta take a drink of water. Okay. Uh, what should I do with this? Uh, just go... Just go Am I gonna back towards the house. Okay. Am I gonna face anything? Uh, maybe. Wrong way. Is I thought that was the way. Go up. Oh, is this? This is. Oh, there's not a road going to our house. Is this our house? No, that's our rich people neighbor house. That's the library. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, still. Uh, there's no, there's no like dogs or anything. Why aren't there any? No, they're all dead. They're all dead. Ah, ah. Ah! <laughs> turn around, turn around, turn around! I did it. Here, take this. <laughs> uh, we should probably call the episode here, actually. Whoa, uh, that's an... What is that? It's an evil eye. So, uh... Ness's full strength is now 825 health points. Wow, that is real good. Uh, speaking of real good, I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode. So, oh, uh... Acid trip! So this is Frackbox. This is Omega Wolf. Have a great day. Stay safe!